Hello YouTube, it's January the 20th. Um, sorry it took so long to get back to you on this part two of the um, vintage pipe collection that I have. Um, anyway, to get it started, uh, I'm actually going to smoke my uh, my deer horn pipe that I had made. Uh, this is the very first one that I have made. Um, I do a lot of things. I do deer horn uh, pipes, which um, actually I'm only on, on my second one. This is my first one. Um, the tampers, obviously, um, and I'm also, which I don't have with me in front of me, I've also, uh, I turn, um, wooden pins and, um, in other words, uh, ink pins with, with, um, with different woods and, and on a wood lathe and, um, deer horn pins and such stuff like that, so, uh, I'll be showing those, uh, eventually, but anyway, this is a pipe thing, so, um, first off, let me go ahead and say, uh, I am going to be smoking, like I said, my deer horn pipe. Um, this has actually prolies and cream in it. Um, I felt like going a little on the sweeter side this morning. So anyway, like I said, um... This this pipe here is my first one that I've ever made. Uh, it actually has the antler, uh, the antler uh, stem on it that uh, was very hard, obviously, to drill out and uh, connect to the actual pipe itself. But anyway, uh, like I said, first one, you know, it is what it is. I would never get rid of it just strictly because it's my first one. So. Um, So anyway, uh, back to the pipes. Um, first pipe I'd like to, to, to show you uh, is, is this pipe right here. Um, this one here does not have any markings on it other than it says an imported briar. Uh, it does have a little orange looking uh, circle there on the stem itself. Uh, very clean looking pipe. Got it off of eBay. It's kind of a small pipe. It's only about maybe two inches. But um, it's like almost like a gentleman's pipe in a sense that it's got a little small pipe you know small uh, bowl in it but uh, it's got the axe pick uh, shape to it um, I do smoke it I uh, love it um, it's just a little bit small uh, like I said as far as the bowl goes um, I like it more of a bigger bowl uh, got a lot of stuff I need to talk to y'all about uh, so anyway I'm gonna just kinda move kinda quickly this here is a K Woody picked it up for two bucks um, nothing special just a little old drugstore pipe uh, but I found it was very clean. It's got the uh, the marking on the stem there. No big deal. But um, I did find this weekend. I did go to a um, to an antique village uh, here in um, in Louisiana. It's called it's in Denham Springs, Louisiana, which is an antique village. Has about eight or nine different antique shops. Uh, went through them all. Me and my wife. Uh, we enjoy going to things like that, just strictly to see the old stuff and that kind of stuff. But I uh, did run into some pipes, and um, a lot of them that I did run into was not really worthwhile. Uh, they were burnt out and just in terrible condition. But I did come across two very, very, very nice discoveries. Um, the first one is this one here. Uh, this pipe here is a Joby designer. Um, it's got on here on the very bottom of it. You can't see it, but it says uh, D80 Handmade. Um, the, the stem on it's got, uh, the little brass looking thing that says Joby on it. It's got a beautiful stem on it. Uh, you can't really tell, but anyway, this bowl is huge, man. I mean, this thing is like amazing. Um, and it's, a, it's got a little thing where you can sit and sits down. Thought it was an awesome deal, but anyway, this one here. And then of course I came across this one. This is a Peterson Mersham. It's got the original, um, I should say the original, it's got the sterling silver band that's hallmarked. Um, not sure of the year. These two pipes, like I said, these two pipes were in the case together. Um, walked up to it. They had a price. Evidently, he didn't know what was going on. Uh, this pipe right here, he had, I think, for like $45. Uh, this pipe was like right at $36, I believe. Well, anyway, to make a long story short, um, off of the guy... Um, $60 for both pipes. 
come to do my research when I got back home. I know Peterson and Mershams are, are not cheap. Um, but anyway, I think I did a pretty good deal. Like I said, it's in, it's in very good condition. There's no cracks, no nothing. It's got the, uh, the P-lip, um, stem on it. Um, and like I said, it looks pretty good. If anybody has any information on the year of this value on it, uh, because I, I would never really sell it, but I'm just curious to know exactly, you know, how much it would be worth if I made a good deal or not and that kind of stuff. Same thing on this Joby, uh, designer pipe. Don't know much about it. Uh, I figured it was a cool pipe, you know, both of them for 30, uh, for $60, 30 a piece. I thought I did pretty good. Um, also too, I had just recently bought a, uh, this one, never smoked this one. Um, this one right here, obviously Peterson. Um, and this one here is a very cool pipe. It's the, um, it's the Irish, um, Irish, um, Irish made K and P. Um, like I said, never smoked it. It's got beautiful grains on it. Um, but anyway, just picked this one up. Uh, I guess a couple weeks ago, but uh, like I said, never smoked it. I'm waiting to uh, to break it in, but not quite yet. But anyway, um, like I said, I want to thank a lot of people um, for subscribing to my to my channel. I really appreciate it a bunch. It means a lot to me. Uh, like I said, I'm new to this, so just bear with me at times. Um, hopefully, the videos get better and uh, that kind of stuff. Um, but like I said, um, the ones that have subscribed to me and the ones that do subscribe to me, I really appreciate it a bunch. All right. Went to check the mail today and end up having a box. Yes, this box is from a guy who has, I think he was my first or second subscriber. Um, Oregon Piper. I just want to say, man, uh, I obviously enjoy your videos. Uh, you're an awesome guy. And, um, you know, you, you, you told me that you were going to send me something. And, like I said, received it today. Um, you know, I don't want to show you address on camera. But, anyway, um, I really appreciate it. Let's see what we got up in here. Take me a second to cut it. Oh, I forgot to show my knife on the camera, but <laughs> all right, let's see here. We have a note. It says, Damon, brother, welcome to the YTPC YouTube pipe community. So, here are a few aromatic samples I said that I would send per our message. I hope they they knew to you and enjoyable. Keep up the videos, sweet smokes. You do not have to send anything back. Bullshit. You're getting something. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, Argan Piper. P.S. Nice job on the Ale of Tampers. Uh, awesome, man. Like I said, really appreciate this. It's amazing how the YouTube pipe community is... Uh, is like one big happy family. I mean, that's how I feel right now. It's like it's amazing. Um, people that that you know you just met and, and they're so generous. Um, but anyway, let's see what we got in this box. We have a, a Stanwell Melange. Um, never seen this one before. It smells good. The next one is uh, Salt Cliff Bacalia. Bacalia? Let's see. This is all new to me on this one, too. This one smells good, also. Man, I really appreciate this. Um, Lane RLP, I have heard of that one. That one's good. I do like it a lot. Appreciate it. My Blend Thanksgiving. Let's see what we got here. Man, you can smell like... It almost smells like apples or something. 
sweet, sweet. It smells awesome. But uh, can't wait to smoke this. And then we have Old Shenandoah 76. Awesome. Very awesome. McClellan Dark Chocolate. That's another awesome one. I have the um, the mint chocolate one, which is which is good. Mint. Um, I love a, pretty much a lot of the McClellan stuff, so thank you very much. And then we got McBaron Royal Seven Seas. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Ah, man. Awesome, man. Organ Piper, appreciate you, man. Uh, like I said, even though you say you want anything, you're going to get something. And uh, I appreciate it again. Uh, that's awesome, you know. Um, I did have another another um, box opening, which I have already opened, and it came in today. Uh, this is from Pipes and Cigars. I had to pick up four ounces of Mississippi Real. This stuff is amazing. I love it. Um, I mean, it is almost all stuck together. One big cake. Awesome. Picked up some of the Brightham pet cleaners. And I also picked up ten more of the uh, pipe bits, which a lot of people would like does not use because they claim that is for pussies, which, sorry for the language. Um, I use them because I don't want to uh, screw up the tip of a Peterson, which on this one here, you can't really use it because of the top part. But let me just say, uh, I don't want to screw up the tip on this beautiful stem for no reason. Okay, so I use pipe tips. So Anyway, that's my opinion on pipe tips. I know people like them. Some people don't. I like them. I use them. Oh, well. But anyway, so uh, real quick, like I said, uh, this is my part two video on the pipes. Um, the next video will be on the tobaccos that I do have and I do like. Uh, so, like I said, uh, appreciate everybody that subscribes to my channel. Um, and uh, that makes the comment. Like I said, if y'all have any information on the pipes that I have shown, please leave it in the comments below and uh, let me know what's going on with that because like I said being new to this um, I can only do my research online but I know a lot of people out there um, like I said um, you know Birdman um, you know Oregon Piper y'all 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 and there's a lot of them don't get me wrong there's a lot of them that subscribe to my channel that uh, <laughs> Stoogie Force I mean I there's a list of them um, and I appreciate everyone. I really do. Uh, I don't have the exact list of everybody who subscribed to my channel. But um, I really appreciate everyone that has and everyone that will subscribe. So anyway, uh, about 13 minutes into it. It's going to take forever to upload this video. So let me go. Talk to y'all later. Peace out and smoke up. Have a good one, guys. And women.